Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? Today I have some money here in front of me and I will be stuffing my weekly variable expenses. So same as always, we've got 51, 152, 220, $240 here to stuff today. And I have all of the beautiful notes for once, which is very exciting. But before we do that, let's jump in here and let's unstuff my purse. So this purse is a whole mess. My new purse that I purchased hasn't arrived yet, but hopefully in next week's video, I will have my new purse. I will also need to most likely, I don't need to make myself some new envelopes, but I feel like a new purse is a call for some new envelopes. I have been using these same envelopes for a year now. They are filthy, they are held together with staples, they're obviously in my purse getting bashed around all the time. So yeah, we've got a little bit of roll over here, so let's jump into that. Groceries, I have a five and just some coins here. Fuel, I have absolutely nothing left over. Household, what have we got? I've got a five and I've got some coins as well. And then splurge this week. I was a little bit spendy this week. If I can get in here. We have $30. So I am happy with that. Let's pop these to the side. So this week in roller with little little. little this week in rollover, we have 20, 30, 35, $40, which isn't a bad little rollover, if you ask me. All right, I'm going to jump straight in and stuff for the week ahead. <clears throat> Pardon me. So as always, $100 going into splurge. Household will get $20. Fuel will get its usual $50. I've still got about three quarters of a tank, so hopefully this week I won't need to use all of this money. And then groceries, as always, will get its $70. I don't need to buy any meat because I did a big stockpile of meat in last week's grocery budget, so hopefully I will have a fair bit of this left over as well. And then, yeah, these two here are just... Who knows what will happen? I might have $100 left over, I might have nothing. <laughs> But let's pop that away, maybe for the very last time, into the Minko. We shall see. Pop that in there. Beautiful. All right. Let's set up my fives, my 10, and my 20 over here. What we're going to do first, I'm going to jump right to the back, and I'm going to go to 50 coins. So... I only need $4 here to complete this. So here's my $4, whoopsies. There's my four, let's color that in, two and two. So another one of these $1,000 savings challenges is fully funded. I've got my coin box here and I'm going to pop that $4 straight in there. So I'm just gonna have a little count see what we've got. Dollar, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. And what I might just do rather than save that for next week, just pop that in there for the grand total. So there will be at least $50 in here. But whenever I finish a coin challenge, I always like to get you guys to guess what is the exact amount that will be going back into the bank because obviously any little extras and bonuses all go in here so if you want to chuck your guesses down below please do feel free and I will let you know if you are close <clears throat> pardon me or if you've got it alrighty so I have actually put the $1,000 savings binders back online I got my binders in the other day so I have the binders as a clear gray binder, but if you already have a binder and you're just looking to do the savings challenges, I also have 
the savings challenges as their own listing. So it comes laminated, it comes hole punched, it doesn't have an envelope in it as you can see. Um, but yeah, if you're just looking to maybe get the actual, you know, dashboard, the tracker at the back and then the challenges themselves, they are all on the website as well. As always, everything is always listed below in the description. But let's jump in and let's stuff some of this money away. So we're going to start with the fives and see with me, I'm obviously filming so I'm moving through this very fast, but if you're not filming and you're not in a rush, just let this dry before you close it because you can see here I always get the transfer here on the other side, but yeah, I'm obviously trying to just get through it as quickly as I possibly can. So I've got two fives and I'm going to put both fives in here today. So five and ten. I can't even remember what that will bring us up to in here now. But this thing is chunky and I may very soon have to condense that a tiny bit. But we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five. 80 85 dollars so we have 15 more dollars and then i will be able to take because what i like to do with all of my savings challenges as soon as it hits 100 dollars, i take that out and i put that in towards my manifestation binder so 15 more dollars in there and that one will be good to move over you'll see oh we're getting a bit of the shadow You'll see that I've done that already with my 10s. That's made it up to 100, so I've condensed that to a 100. And I'll be taking this out in the next couple of weeks or so to stuff away into the manifestation binder. But for this week, we are just going to add a $10 to here. So I've now saved $110 towards the $400 total. Let's pop that. I'm making a mess. Alright, I probably should have put the 10 at the front, but whatever. Alrighty, so my mini savings challenge is fully funded at $150. So that means today we can jump into the rainy day savings challenge. Now I do have a couple of $15 icons on here. So what I will do, I'll take this 20 and let's go up here in the top right corner. I have a 15 and I have a five. Beautiful. So let's add that in here. Now that my $50 coin savings challenge is complete, I will obviously take that to the bank and put that $50 towards my manifestation binder as well. So in this month's manifest, I cannot talk today. In this month's manifestation binder stuffing, I'll have 50 from here. 150 from the mini challenge. I'll have 100 from the $10 challenge. So what are we looking at? 250. I have 300 extra dollars to stuff into my manifestation binder. And I am very, very, very excited about that. So that was a very nice, short, sweet video from me today. There wasn't a whole lot of rollover. There wasn't a lot to do. Very happy to have finished the 50 envelope savings challenge. My puppy dog is rolling on here in a moment. If you can hear his clickety clackety of his little nails. But yeah, that is it from me. I just want to say to everyone who has, you know, favorited my Etsy shop, purchased from me, subscribed to this channel, liked an Instagram post, whatever it might be. Thank you so, so, so much. This last week has been so full on. <laughs> I... I have been getting up before work to pack orders, going to work, coming home, packing orders. I've been doing some very long days, but I am so happy to do it. I love packing orders. It is possibly my favorite thing ever to do. So thank you. Um, and if you've made it all the way to the very end of this video, please leave me a blue love heart in the comments and I will see you very soon in the next one.